So you know when you get advertised something online and it just really speaks to you and, and it checks a lot of boxes? Well, uh, for me, I get advertised air quality monitors now pretty frequently for some reason. And this one, the Canary, I found, gosh, it might have been a Facebook ad, but I originally signed on through the Kickstarter, which I was super excited about, and that was months ago and then they came several months later and then they sat on my desk for some more months and here we are now so today we're going to look at the canary well, let's go so it's essentially just a uh, co2 monitor but we'll do a little unboxing here in a minute i already have one up on the wall behind me but it comes with this little card which i love also so if you need uh 20 off you can use this code here free as a bird so we open up our canary and it comes with that card there like i mentioned but it's really cute because it has this little window looking thing on it which i love and in terms of features, uh, we have mounting hardware. We have a cord to charge. It doesn't have to be plugged in all the time. You actually just charge it and the battery lasts for some amount of months. I'll get back to you on that. And there's a QR code in here for installation. Essentially, you pop out your little canary and mount it on the back after you charge it up. The uh, charging port is actually here on the bottom. It's a USB-C, so you could leave it plugged in all the time if you didn't want to have to take it off the wall and charge it, but I think it takes away from kind of the nice design aesthetic. And as a single uh, gas sensor CO2 monitor, all this, this little bird does is if the CO2 level gets above 1,000, you cannot edit or, I mean, there's no buttons, there's no changing, it's 1,000 parts per million. The bird just takes a little turn. It does not do this. There it goes. We're good. And in terms of positions, once you have it mounted on the wall, this is normal, everything's good. It takes a sample about once every 10 minutes. This position means low battery and that you need to charge your canary. And then the dead bird position is when CO2 level is over a thousand and you need to ventilate the, uh, ideally the, you know, the manufacturer talks about opening windows. So this is really more of a residential device than a commercial device, though it is cute to have here at the office. I will put the other one at my house and uh, battery life. So should go about six months um, before needing to charge. There's a tiny LED indicator on the back and that just shows charging status. If it's green, it's charged. If it's red, it's charging. All right, and that's it. So hopefully this was a new record in shortness for my hair quality monitoring review videos. It's got a cute design, it's got a great concept and a fun name, and it measures CO2, so canary. I feel like there should be a tagline associated with that.